Hello, uh, it's your girl Tiffany, Madam Luscious Black Beauty, your Poetic Psychic Pisces, High Priestess, aka the Light that Shines Like a Diamond, also known as your Modern Day Nun, one who is within a coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on today. If y'all would be so kind to please like, share, and subscribe, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. This is going to be a general reading for the overall collective of any zodiac sign, so please take the messages that apply and leave the ones that do not. Remember that this reading can apply to your past, your present, or your future, as well as it may be pertaining to you or any and everyone in between that you may or may not know. With that being said, guys, we're going to get started. As I said, I hope you all are doing well and feeling well. So let's get to your overall messages, guys. Okay. I'm seeing stay cool here, okay? So spirit is wanting you to stay cool about something. Stay cool, calm, collected, okay? Count to ten before you go all in, okay? Um, spirit also wants you to know that can't nobody steal your joy, but at the same time, don't allow anybody to steal your joy or your happiness, okay? Dismiss the haters, okay? Don't overreact about something. Um, don't let the enemy get you down. Disregard the trolls, okay? Smile and ignore the bullshit and the bullies, okay? But spirit wants you to stay cool as it relates to something, okay? I'm also seeing moon magic here, okay? There's some type of moon magic that is being done, okay? Um, we have the moon here, okay? So there's something that's going on in secret, behind the scenes, behind closed doors, behind your back. We know that the moon is all about secret things, hidden things, what's done in the dark, cover-ups, criminal activities, shady people, dirty do dealings, illusions, fear, moon magic. Um, somebody could be wanting you to, to be in fear or feel overwhelmed in some type of way, okay? Something could be going on late at night in the wee hours of the morning here. Somebody could be trying to gaslight you or create illusions in some type of way. Somebody could even be an illusionist. There's definitely some type of criminal activity that's going on here, okay? But things are, there. there's some, something with hidden things. Evil, sinister, okay? Somebody is demonic, wicked, okay? Someone could even be a dark witch. Very sneaky, freaky, creepy, secretive, manipulative uh, type of individuals. Somebody is very like, um, somebody could be a seductress or very seductive, okay? Very shady, shisty, low down and dirty type of individuals are doing something in secret behind your back, okay? Um, there definitely could be, um, you know, some type of moon magic going on, witchcraft, sorcery, black magic, voodoo, hoodoo, hexes, curses, spells, evil eyes, centurias, or any other form of dark arts. Okay? But spirit wants you to stay cool. Okay? You may even be aware that this is going on. Okay? Yeah. I'm seeing the feminists here. Whoever you are, um, whether you're masculine or feminine, okay? I feel like you're someone who is like naturally dope, okay? You're strong-willed, you're strong-minded, you have a backbone, you're going to stand your ground, um, you have this power within you, okay? You could be a truther, um, you speak for like human rights, civil rights, constitutional rights, um, you could also be psychic or prophet or prophetess, a messenger of some kind, um... You're very strong-minded. You could even be an activist or a protester. You're someone who's a natural-born leader. You're, you like, you could be in a leadership. You could have a leadership position or have a leadership role. Or you're just a natural-born leader destined to be some type of leader of some kind, okay? You could stand for equal rights or of some kind here, okay? And this could be the reason why these people are working against you in secret here, okay? Yeah, Spirit is saying they're trying to silence you, okay? Which is why they're working against you, why they're doing something behind the scenes, behind closed doors, behind your back. Your ops want to kill you, Spirit is saying. Wow. 
there's some type of emotional manipulation going on. Somebody's trying to emotionally manipulate you. Some type of um, spell work is being done to manipulate your maybe your feelings or your emotions in some type of way. Spirit say everybody ain't your friend. Okay. I'm also seeing your worst en enemies are the people closest to you. Okay. So these ops who want to kill you, these could be enemies who are or of yours that who are close to you here okay they're jealous of your gift spirit is saying so you could have some type of talent skills abilities of some kind some type of gifts tangible gifts spiritual gifts physical gifts okay they're jealous of your gift spirit is saying okay so they're doing some type of emotional manipulation so it seems like they're plotting planning scheming strategizing um orchestrating something because the ops want to kill you okay they want you silenced okay they're trying to silence you okay so obviously you could be speaking some type of truth or clarity about something okay um and you must be on point for people to be trying to silence you or wanting to silence you 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 must obviously be speaking some type of truth or clarity you have an awareness of something insight um um, you've had some type of awakening, some type of epiphany or breakthrough of some kind. You know the truth or clarity and you're outspoken about whatever this is. So they're trying to silence you, okay? Spirit wants you to stay cool, calm, and collected though, okay? You could even, you, because you could know that there are people working against you in secret that's doing moon magic on you. Spirit wants you to stay cool, Okay? That's what's going on here, y'all. Okay, so we're going to get some further clarification for this situation. You guys, please remember to like, share, and subscribe because that is your free way of showing your support to help grow the channel, guys. Okay? So, Spirit, give us clear and accurate messages to clarify this reading. What other messages do I need to share with the collective? I'm seeing social media here, okay? You could be on social media. Uh, maybe you do some type of work on social media. You're speaking out on social media. This is sitting here on they're trying to silence you. They could be trying to silence you on social media. So very clarify, the ops want to kill you. The ops want to kill you. I'm seeing fraud here. Your ops can want to kill you to get away with some type of fraud or your ops are frauds in some way, shape, form, or fashion, Spirit is saying. Yeah, they're trying to commit some type of fraud because they're in debt or they have a debt to pay. Okay. I'm seeing egotism in celebrities. Some of you all could have some very egotistical, um, full of vanity and pride, um, narcissistic possessive controlling manipulative celebrities um who are your ops is trying to kill you like it, it wasn't even just celebrities okay if i had a kept pulling here i see i literally seen egotism celebrity and aliens and y'all know there are different species of extraterrestrials okay we have some here who are they're the ones who are working with the powers that be okay they are um an evil force, if you will, an evil species of aliens or extraterrestrials, okay? They're the ones who are working hands in hand with the government, with the industry, um, with the top 13 bloodlines um, in the world, okay? Yeah, we have assassination here, okay? Your ops want to kill you. They want to assassinate you, Spirit is saying. This is absurd. Spirit, clarify emotional manipulation. Emotional manipulation here. You can be a feminine energy here. I'm seeing family here as well. They could be, uh, you could have family who's doing things to like emotionally manipulate you in some type of way. Your family is obviously in on this, wanting to sacrifice you, wanting to kill you, um, wanting to silence you. Yeah. Homicide. Mm -mm. 
Yeah. Wow. It's interesting because I wanted to come out here where everybody ain't your friend here, okay? Somebody you think is a friend, could they could be using to commit a homicide against you. Again, I'm seeing fraud here. These people are trying to commit some type of fraud, get away with a fraud of some kind. Yeah, your enemies, your worst enemies are people that's closest to you here. I'm seeing cult here. These people belong to some type of cult. This cult could be jealous of your gifts, Spirit is saying. They want, I'm seeing trapped in a home here. Somebody wants you trapped in your home. Okay. Yeah. They're chained to the devil here. Your worst enemies, they sold, they sold to the devil. Okay. Very toxic, evil, wicked, sinister, dark, demonic individuals um, who belong to some type of cult. Yeah. Fraud. This is insurance fraud. They want to sacrifice you for money. Somebody could have offered you up as a... Um, some. That's what that debt is about. Somebody, somebody is under contract. Somebody sold their soul to the devil. They're a part of some type of satanic, masonic, demonic cult. Okay, um, they're under some type of blood contract and they could have offered you up as a sacrifice. Okay, so now they're in debt to this cult, coven, or secret society. Okay, um, this is what these people do. They sacrifice um, their friends, their families, their loved ones, their, their partners, their spouses, or whomever. Okay, for higher positions, titles, or roles, for money, for incentives, for fame, fortune, recognition, or whatever they're doing it for. Okay, um, and they commit fraud. Okay, they take out fraudulent life insurance policies on people. They blood sacrifice, take fraudulent insurance, life insurance policies out on them, blood sacrifice them, collect on the life insurance policy, but it's just fraud. Okay, one, because they took, they likely took the life insurance policy out on you without your knowledge without your permission or approval and two because this is actually murder they're causing your death and then turning it around and collecting money from your death okay as well as whatever incentives that they get they get higher ranking within their cult coven or secret society like i said they get higher positions titles or roles and y'all need to understand that this goes on this is not i'm not just talking celebrities i'm just not i'm not just talking government you know high ranking government officials um they do it for higher stakes okay it's just as evil and just as bad when they do it, but they're doing it for higher stakes, okay? Like, um, but there's people on lower levels that do it, okay? Middle class to lower class people are a part of this as well, okay? Um, the church is also involved, okay? You have a lot of people who, um, want, you know, uh, higher positions within the church and, and different things like that or whatever. Y'all would be surprised at how many, how many, um, fake, funny, fraudulent women around here want to be first ladies, okay? Um, how many, uh, ordained ministers around here want, uh, uh, some type of position within the church or what have you. They're committing blood sacrifices as well here, Okay. Um, so it's just, it's not a thing. It's just not something that they're doing on a higher level, okay? These people are very egotistical, though. They, they're full of vanity. They're full of pride. They're very cocky, arrogant, conceited, okay? Yeah. I'm also seeing revenge here, okay? Yeah. So the assassination is homicide. It's murder, okay? No matter how you say it, okay? It's um, it's murder. Whether you say an assassinate nation, where you actually say murder, um, they both technically mean the same, okay? I'm seeing revenge here. Everybody ain't your friend here. So there could be somebody that you think is cool, that you think was a friend. This could be a past. This could be an ex partner, an ex spouse, um, a friend of some kind. Okay, um, this person ain't your friend. Yeah, 
Yeah. So I'm seeing these same cards again. Egotism, celebrity, aliens, which could technically be reptilians, shapeshifters, or what have you, um, you know, higher up in power. I'm also seeing spouse or partner here, okay? So you have an ex that's involved in this as well. Aliens or reptilians, however you want to see it. You have celebrities. All of these individuals are uh, full of ego, vanity, and pride, like I said. They're narcissistic. They're possessive. They're controlling. They're demonically possessed. They're very manipulative here, okay? There's something significant to the mountains, guys. I've been seeing the mountains for a while now. Okay, there's something in the mountains, there's something significant to the mountains, something's going on in the mountains, something's hidden in the mountains, something is going, something is happening in the mountains. You see this organized crime here? Yeah, tunnels. There's tunnels in the mountains, and there's some type of organized crime that is going on in the mountains, in some type of underground tunnel. There's underground tunnels in the mountains, Spirit is saying. Yeah, something significant to a land field, perversion, accomplices, partners in crime here. These people are sick, they're twisted, they're demonic, they're possessed. There could be bodies in a particular land field somewhere. Or something that's serving as a land field, maybe around these mountains somewhere. But there's organized crime that's going on. There's perversion. And all of these people are accomplices. They're partners in crime, Spirit is saying. Okay? That's what's going on here, y'all. Hold on just a minute. Let me, um, let me cut this down. I thought I had this down a little bit. But something else has come on and it's a little loud okay guys so um yeah that's what's happening here let's see what other messages spirit have for you um, spirit clarify um they're trying to silence you they're trying to silence you You could be dealing with some type of cyber bullying spirit is saying, okay? You're being bullied online um, or you have suffered from it. Yeah, there's something significant with social media. Whoever you are, you have some type of platform of some kind. You're on social media um, and you've been being cyber bullied, okay, by individuals, okay? Um, your ops are trying to kill you. Somebody is sneaking and creeping around you, okay? that wants to assassinate you, commit homicide against you, emotional manipulation with family. Here we got wolves in sheep's clothing. Your family are wolves in sheep's clothing, Spirit is saying here. Yeah, look, jackpot, winning money, getting rich, inheritance, unexpected money here. There's something, yeah, there's something here with fraud. Like, there's some type of big money from some type of fraud, okay? Um... As it relates to this fraud and this life insurance here, okay? Yeah, I'm also seeing theft here. Robbed, lost, theft, physical or emotional here. Okay? So these people could be trying to get away with... Um, Maybe there was something that was left for you, left to you, that these people have stolen or they're trying to steal. Okay, so you clarify everybody ain't your friend with revenge, okay? So I'm seeing divination abuser here, okay? Somebody that maybe you thought was your friend is doing some type of divination on you. This person is abusing uh, divination by way of manipulation, okay? In an effort to manifest what they want. So they want some type of revenge on you, as somebody does here, okay? Um, obviously, this person is um, involved in the occult, um, is involved in devil worship, Satanism, what have you, okay? But they're doing some type of ritualistic practices. Um, once again, this could be witchcraft, sorcery, um, black magic, or voodoo of any kind here, okay? Spirit, clarify um, your worst enemies are the people that's closest to you. 
okay, with the devil here, okay? So I'm seeing fake accounts here, okay? There are some people who are hiding behind fake accounts. They have some type of fake social media accounts to spy on you. This could be Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, um, like whatever you're on, YouTube or anything else, okay? These are individuals who are chained to the devil here, okay? These are very toxic um, individuals, Spirit is saying, okay? Spirit clarified they are jealous of your gifts. They're jealous of your gifts. Somebody is stalking you. These people are stalking you. They're watching you. They're obsessed with you, okay? These are forcers. They're trying to force things on you, force their way in. you forced to get what they want or something like that. Yeah. This cult is stalking you, Spirit is saying. This cult of individuals are stalking you, watching you. They're obsessed with you, okay? Because you are shining brightly and your light irritates their demons, Spirit is saying. Mm -mm. Yeah. Yeah. These people are also some hustlers. All they care about is making it rain. They're focused on the money, focused on getting it. Okay. As well. Spirit wants you to move in silence. Yeah. You definitely have karmic friends, whoever these, everybody ain't your friend here. These karmic friends, you can't trust them. There's tensions, they're in secret competition with you, okay? Um, this talks about keeping your friends close and your enemies closer, but forget that. I, I say don't keep any of them close, yeah. Yeah, but these fake smiles here, you probably got people fake smiling in your face. You may even have some people kissing your ass or something. They're just trying to get close enough to you to try to hurt you or harm you or something like that or what have you here okay um you're someone who's very creative you could be artistic or creative in some type of way shape form or fashion okay um there's something about your creativity somebody could be trying to steal your ideas copying your work duplicating off of you or feeding off of you in some type of way you're shining brightly okay yet your light is irritating their demons but they're they're trying to steal your ideas copy your work or duplicate you in some type of way shape form or fashion these are individuals who have bad habits whether it's sex addictions drug addictions alcohol addictions or any other kind of addictions yeah they're always partying or something like that spirit is saying they're hustlers spirit is saying um they are definitely yeah i'm seeing boss daddy here okay Somebody, you got somebody who's stable, who's rich, who's a business owner, a CEO, big dick energy, or what have you. This could be this uh, this egotistical person here that is a celebrity or something. Um, but this could be a wealthy individual. They say boss daddy, but this could be, it could be just as easily be um, a boss woman here, okay? Somebody who's rich, though. Somebody who's stable, okay? Um, definitely have their eye on you. It's definitely maybe doing something to attack you, uh, wanting to silence you, or something like that, okay? Yeah. Because I'm seeing here, somebody is looking you up, researching you, studying you, getting information on you here, okay? Somebody could also be doing things to intimidate you, threaten you, or bother you in some type of way here, okay? Whoever this person, these wealthy persons are, celebrities, aliens, spouse, or partners, or what have you, Spirit is saying. They're wanting to silence you. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody is haunted or somebody wants you haunted in some type of way. Haunted, taunted, harassed, something like that. These are drama starters, Spirit is saying, okay? Um, it's no doubt that they are spiritual haters. I'm surprised that card didn't come out here. These people are speeding, uh, could likely be hating on your spirituality, hating on your gifts, your talents, your skills, your abilities, okay? Or what have you. They're definitely happiness haters, there's happiness haters right there. Okay, guys? So, that's what's going on here, y'all. Okay? Let's see what other messages. Spirit, um, please give me clear and accurate messages to clarify this reading. They're trying to silence you. Spirit wants you to have caution. They're trying to silence you, spirit. 
Yeah. They want to betray you in some way, shape, form, or fashion. This is deceit, okay? Very deceitful energy. They want to backstab you in some type of way. These are traitors that are not to be trusted, Spirit is saying here, okay? Spirit, clarify um, your ops are, uh, want to kill you. Yeah, because they're haters. Spirit is saying they're haters. These ops who want to kill you are haters, Spirit is saying. Spirit, clarify emotional... Um, Manipulation. Emotional manipulation, spirit. With family, wolves, and sheep's clothing. What is this emotional manipulation, spirit? Yeah, these are individuals who are toxic. Whoever is trying to emotionally manipulate you in some type of way, this family member who's a wolf in sheep's clothing, this is somebody who is toxic, okay? If you're if your person is toxic, they are definitely chained to the devil. They are freaking demonic, okay? They're evil, they're wicked, they're sinister. I don't give a damn what they say and what they come in with, what they got going on, how they trying to attack you. They need to step back and look themselves in the damn mirror and check their own damn self, okay? And give you 50 feet, okay? Because, yeah, they emotional manipulation, yeah, it's not going to work. I don't care what they what they talking about, what they coming with, okay? Because they some haters, period, point blank. They're just mad, okay? Because they're trying to get away with fraud, okay? Life insurance frauds and thefts of money and different shit, okay? Yeah, um, Spirit, clarify, everybody ain't your friend. Whoever this is that ain't your friend here wants some type of revenge on you. This person is a divination or abuser. They're doing some type of witchcraft, sorcery, black magic, or voodoo on you. This is a karmic friend of some kind here. This person, like I said, can't be trusted. There's tensions with this person. They, they're in secret competition with you. Okay? I'm seeing a situation is about to explode. Shit's about to pop off up in flames here. Spirit, what is going on with this everybody ain't your friend? What is going on with this everybody ain't your friend? Yeah, there's envy. Okay? This person is very envious of you, Spirit is saying. Okay? Spirit, clarify. Um, your worst enemies are the people closest to you. Your worst enemies are the people closest to you. They want to destroy you, shatter you. They want you broken or fucked up in some type of way. Excuse my language here. Spirit, clarify this. Look, again, fake friends. You got fake friends and family who are working against you, okay? As well as celebrities, aliens, ex exes, okay? Wealthy persons in power who are saber, witch, or what have you, okay? And they're all being very threatening towards you, okay? This is the reason why Spirit is saying stay cool, okay? They could even be trying to plan some type of um, exposure, uh, exploitation, attack, or something against you in some type of way. Spirit say stay cool, calm, and collected, okay? Spirit clarify that these people are just haters who are jealous and envious of you. They're toxic as fuck. They want to ultimately betray you just to uh, silence you, and it's because of some type of fraud and life insurance and theft that they sorry ass is trying to get away with, but deep down, they're really jealous of your damn gifts, okay? Spirit clarify they're jealous of your gifts. Yeah, and these people knowing that they fucked up. They know that they fucked up, okay? Spirit, so clarify they're jealous of your gifts. Clarify they're jealous of your gifts. Spirit, so clarify they're jealous of your gifts. They're doing some things to make some bad choices. Somebody could even be burning some type of evidence of something that they're doing to you as well. Somebody who kicks you to the curb, who who neglected or abandoned you. I don't know if that's the same person here, but I'm also seeing here somebody hates nothing about you, yet they went along with it, like this setup, this attack against you. Just totally stupid, okay? 
Spirit clarify, um, they're jealous of your gifts. Yeah. Because of these people being jealous of your gifts, there could be a situation that is about to explode or shit's about to pop up, up in flames because they're jealous of your gifts. Okay. You're shining so brightly. Your light is irritating their damn demons. Okay. This cult is stalking you. Okay. There's something about your creativity. Yeah. They want to do something to attack you. Like, to, that's, like do something that's like to silence you. I'm seeing an anger manager. They also could be trying to do something to like piss you off, embarrass you, hurt your feelings, um, try to do something to break you down in some type of way. Um, yeah. But I'm telling you, whatever it is that they're trying to do, it's going to black backfire on them. With me steady seeing a situation is about to explode. Some shit is about to pop off up in flames and they're going to know that they fucked up. You see them flames and shit? Popping this person got their head down. They know they fucked up. They are they, they don't know yet. They're going to know. Cause it's like somebody's trying to hurt you. Somebody could be trying to put you on blast. Somebody could be trying to steal your work. Um, somebody could be trying to stunt or front on you, exploit you in some type of way, hurt you, harm you, endanger you, okay? Yeah, they want you, they, they, somebody wants you to feel insecure. Somebody wants you feeling insecure because they're jealous of your gifts. Yeah. But like there are there's somebody who is insecure that's putting on a show. And this bitch this person is a copycat. Like insecure, putting on a show, copycat. Somebody is copying off of you, putting on some type of show here, okay? And I don't know if they're doing this to try to make you feel insecure. Or what? But somebody's putting on a show that's a damn copycat. Spirit is saying, okay? Yeah. I'm seeing the hidden deceiver here, okay? So there's a person who is employing, uh, who is employing, um, a person employs this uh, deceitful tactics to manipulate others and commit crimes, okay? So somebody is paying individuals to like work against you to attack you okay yeah the veiled threat here okay a seemingly um a nauseous um warning hides dangerous criminal intent here okay so there's a hidden deceiver or yeah a hidden deceiver and a veiled threat here okay somebody is behind the scenes recruiting people paying people okay because this person is wearing a mask but their mask is literally made of money okay so this person has a lot of has money and a lot of it okay and they're paying other people to like attack you to work against you okay there's some type of veiled threat of some kind okay Some type of something to do with some type of dangerous criminal intent uh, towards you, okay? Yeah, I'm also seeing stolen identity here. Somebody could have stolen your identity. An imposter uses a false identity to carry out crimes and invade, uh, evade justice here. The unseen agitator here. Yeah. The misplaced trust. Be careful who you trust, okay? The covert operator. Illusion of innocence. So somebody could come in to your life, or like there could be somebody that's acting like they're innocent, acting like they're righteous and upstanding or whatever, but they're a part of this setup to attack you, to work against you. Somebody could have stolen your identity to commit some type of crimes here. Somebody could have stolen your identity to like steal your work or or something here. 
or someone with a stolen identity who is an imposter is using a false identity to carry out some type of crimes against you so that they can evade uh, justice in some type of way. Mm. I'm also seeing here the misguided justice here. Um, the misguided justice. These people could even be trying to get some type of charges brought up on you, get you arrested here. I'm seeing a wrongful conviction, uh, a wrongful conviction or accusation leads to further criminal acts driven by a quest of um, a quest for revenge. So it's like these people want revenge on you, okay? And they're trying to stage something here, okay? I see recording when I was shuffling that other deck that I was used. Somebody may try to come with some type of recording, act like you're on some type of recording or on some type of video, committing some type of crime here. Somebody is trying to, like, try to get some type of charges brought up on you because they're trying to silence you is the point. That's why Spirit is saying stay cool. They're doing something. They're doing something sneaky with this moon here. They're doing something behind the scenes, behind closed doors, behind your back. It's criminal activity. They're committing crimes themselves, but could be trying to set you up on a crime just so they can silence you, okay? And with this person here that's up under this, um, what everybody ain't your friend, you got a friend or an ex or a family member or something here. Because whoever this, I, where I seen the recording card, it came up on emotional manipulation. Somebody is going to try to emotionally manipulate you this is sitting here with family here okay somebody from your family may try to throw some up in your face or something or uh maybe have some type of recording or some type of shit it's literally falsified it is it's, it's forged okay and i'm gonna tell you how i know because i've been seeing shit there's a lot of people Y'all know the Diddy situation that's going on, y'all. Y'all got so many... It's so many people online all over that shit, y'all, okay? And it is so many clout-hungry-ass people. Like, it's a real situation that's going on. But I have literally noticed, y'all, from, like, all kinds of people. There are people who are making up videos, okay? And their videos is straight fucking clickbait, okay? Um... And like the, the, the image that they have on the beginning, like on the front of the video before you click on the video, they're photoshopped. The shit is not even happening what they're showing on that video. Y'all, I kid you not. There was this one person's video that I seen. And, and if you look at the images, it's not even the people that they're seeing. These are like uh, copycats, like doppelgangers, like lookalikes or some shit like that. It's not even the people that, y'all, I kid y'all not. I just stro scrolled and scrolled and scrolled. I've been seeing this for a while, ever since this shit been going on. But, um, like I seen one was like, oh, Jay-Z is about to go down. Or Jay-Z meeting up with the feds and the snitch on this person, that person. And got Jay-Z's face on here. And some and, and like he's talking with the, the No, he's that's not going. That's not happening. It's false. I seen um, another one that was like, oh, Oprah and Diddy's uh, sex tape has been released. Breaking news. Get the fuck out of here. That is not Oprah. That is so not Oprah on that. And it's like a whole stilled image, okay? And making it seem like Diddy and Oprah is having sex or shit. It's photoshopped, y'all. Some, some of the people's videos, they have put these people's heads on other people's bodies. And like, it's like photoshopped, Okay? Y'all, I seen one that was so fucking ridiculous. First of all, all the videos that y'all see that keep talking about Diddy in prison. First of all, he's in jail. He's not in fucking prison. He has not even gone to fucking trial or anything. He's been accused of a crime. He hasn't been technically convicted of that crime and sentenced to prison. He is in jail. These people, oh, Diddy behind prison walls. Um, phone call release. He said, burn all the pizza. Like, come on. If y'all remember the Pizzagate scandal, y'all know what this is coming. Like, come on. Get the fuck out of here, man. Okay? I seen another one. Oh, um, 
correctional officer release what Diddy has been doing behind the scenes. Y'all, I kid y'all not, the front of this person's video is this black man that's supposed to be Diddy and a white correctional officers and they in there hugging and kissing each other and it's <laughs> I said this shit is ridiculous I feel and the, the black guy that they show is like this heavy set man if that is actually a situation that's been happening with that's not Diddy or a correctional officer at that and the man was so I'm like Diddy is not even that big he ain't never been that fucking heavy like, it's just made up bullshit. And I've been seeing this shit and seeing this shit. Somebody could be trying to do some shit like this to you. To, like, to accuse you of a crime or, like, to put you on blast. Like, it could literally be anything. It could be somebody that be like, oh, they got a sex tape on you or some shit like that or whatever. But it's literally, and, like, somebody with this emotional manipulation, somebody could be, like, trying to bring some type of recording to show you, like, I don't know. Uh, doing some type of sex acts or something like I'm just using that in as, as an example it is not even you on the damn thing bro it's not even you on the video like the shit is like photoshopped it's made the fuck up okay because first of all as, as much as these bitches hate you and as many years as they have been attacking you bitch if you had that type of information you, you like a motherfucker would have been hemmed up a long damn time ago years the fuck ago okay like it's been so goddamn long that they've been attacking you technically if they had that type of uh, uh uh evidence against you and could charge you with a crime you could have literally been charged with a crime served your sentence and been out by now it's been so fucking long so like me for real the shit is made up like somebody is trying they're trying to do something they're either like trying to put you on blast trying to exploit you in some type of way um uh, make it seem like you on camera, you know, <laughs> uh, uh, committing a crime or some type of shit or whatever. <laughs> uh, I just thought about Ice Cube real quick um, from Friday. He was like, they got you on videotape still in boxes. <laughs> like, <laughs> you get fired on your day off type of shit. Okay. Um. But the shit is crazy. It is like absurd what's going on. Because it's like a real situation that's going on or whatever. And it's like ridiculous ass shit that is going on. Okay. Um. It, it's, it's just ridiculous shit. Even with, with the, the whole Diddy situation that's going on. Now it's just like a slew. Of, and like I said. It's real shit that is happening. It's real shit that's going on. But y'all need to recognize bullshit when it's bullshit. Now, I've heard from two of his alleged victims or what have you, okay? And I feel like what they have to say is believable. Um, one, because they're the only two. They're the only two besides Cassie, okay? Who um, have video proof of whatever. I forget the people's names. The one was the girl that her video is going around um where um on the one picture photo she was sitting in Dita's lap she had on the DNG shirt or what have you she was supposed to be a teenager at the time or whatever um and then the other photo they got surfacing around of her is she supposed to be this girl that's laying on this table and she was supposed to be young or whatever but like all her interactions you know of her being there and I guess she was supposed to have went to Dita's flavor camp or whatever and like you know she was like Supposedly like 12 or 13 years old when she first went there or whatever. It's her and then there's this other girl. This other, well, she's not a girl. She's a grown woman. She's a lady. But, um, she, she, you know, kind of came, was known at first by like, uh, doing adult films and different things like that or what have you. And she had a, I believe she said she had a boyfriend that was a model at the time or whatever. And then, um, you know, eventually they, she was dancing in the clubs and somehow she ended up linking up with Diddy or whatever. And so she was dancing at a lot of his parties and gatherings and different things they was having. But this woman has proof every video that she like every uh interview that she has done they show her at these parties at the her whole face her whole who she is you know everything or whatever okay but what i have noticed they are being like those two women they're telling their story but i heard i was listening to that thing the other day 
well, the one girl, I can't say the other lady did, but the one girl, she was literally paid to mention Allie Carter's name and Jaguar Wright. And so I was like, oh, yeah, Allie Carter was there and Jaguar Wright was at one of the parties, too, or whatever. They're lying. They was paid to say that because both of them bitches is lying. Both Allie Carter and Jaguar Wright. They wanted to the fuck there. Now, tell your story, okay? You know, show your proof, whatever, whatever. Y'all stories is way more believable. If you notice, no matter ever out of every damn thing that Ali Cotton has said, she ain't got. You see how the other women are they talking and they can show they they can show they prove they got photos and videos from when they was there actually around all these other celebrities actually there at the parties. This is not just hearsay, okay? Because a lot of the shit that's being talked about is going on in a court of law. Bitch, that would be called hearsay. Yeah, in the court of law. A bitch is innocent until proven guilty. Okay, that means that you need to be able to prove your case beyond a reasonable doubt, bitch. Okay, that means if you ain't got proof, and I'm talking definitive proof, bitch, what you saying don't fucking matter. That what that mean. See, I could have been a lawyer in, a, in, a, in, a, in another life. Okay, know your rights, bitch. Okay, but I don't need to be the lawyer to know the law. Okay. Are these people popping off at the gums, making up all these goddamn videos with the same fucking information? Ain't shit changed, okay? About this man's situation, he's in jail, he's not in prison, he's been accused of something, but he ain't been convicted of something. You understand what I'm saying? And then you got the people, the, the ones, I'm telling y'all, the ones who are believable that you can believe. And this ain't no, oh, no shame in the victim type of shit because there are legit people like how Cassie came out. Everybody seen that video on what happened to Cassie. What she has, to, she was there. Everybody know they was in a relationship. She was there. People have seen how she was treated, how she was done. The story is believable. There is proof. You understand what I'm saying? There's only a couple other people. Them other two women that I, I can't think of their names right now, who they say, oh yeah, I was at the parties or whatever, and boom, a picture come up, damn show sure is, there go them right there, they was at the parties, show sure is, they was there, you understand what I'm saying? And I'm going to tell you something, what y'all don't understand, what a lot of people don't understand is, the individuals, besides the one girl, because she was underage, and literally trafficked, abducted and trafficked or whatever. But that other girl, the other, the, uh, she's a grown woman. I keep saying girl. The, uh, the other woman, not only does she have proof, but I'm going to tell you, the ones who are the most believable are your individuals who, no matter what you say, are willing hosts. Okay? Straight up. They just tell you, know, they lived their life. They was about that life. Just like that woman, she told you, she started off doing adult entertainment. She was doing sex videos and different things like that. She was like, at one point in time, she was like, you know, she was a super fan. She was trying to get on. She was, you know, in that groupy type of mentality. So she was like, hell yeah, I show up and dance. Hell yeah, I was going to all the parties. And hell yeah, we was drinking again, and partying and all this other kind of shit. And I got paid sometimes and sometimes I didn't. Now, I definitely say she straight up the fuck got played in a motherfucker because... She was, all the parties that she said she was at, that she showed proof that she was at, she was at, sometimes she didn't get paid the fuck at all. And sometimes she only maybe got $200, uh, uh, at the most $500. And not only what she was doing, she was screwing a whole lot of people. Bitch, please. Baby, please. Yeah, they straight up play, huh? Bitch, you would have been $500 just to show up. And everybody you surrounded by is wealthy. Bitch, just showing up fee would be $500. Okay? And you getting trains and shit ran on you and all this other kind of shit. And she'll tell you her story. She was down with it. That's that one business. You know what I'm saying? Everybody go through something. Ain't the person that try to put nobody down, shame nobody, you know, whatever it is, what it is. They want to tell you her own story. That was her own life. That's what she was going through. And she was down with it at that time. Although in the midst of that, there was a lot of abusive, unnecessary things that was happening that was going on and different things like that or what have you. And she was taking advantage of or whatever, but she was so happy to be there. Um, she'll tell you her story that at, at certain times when she first started, you know, she she was she was like she was practically willing to do it for free. Okay, but it turned into more than just her, you know, being there at the party, stripping, dancing the whole night, and all this other kind of stuff, or whatever, you know. 
about the party that's the after party. You know what I'm saying? Everybody high and drunk and screwing each other. Baby, please. And you surrounded by nothing but wealthy ass skin damn people. Baby, showing up with it just being uh, $500 damn dollars. Okay? Them motherfuckers would have had to pay like they were each goddamn one that you slept. So she got played like a motherfucker. But anyway, that's not what this is about. Only reason why I brought that up is because I've been seeing a whole lot of fuck shit online, okay? Every time some shit goes on, the world grasps on to it. And people are so damn stupid. Anything that goes on, anything that y'all say, you know what I'm saying? It's the, oh, Beyonce and, and Jay-Z is next. They going down. They speaking out. Ain't nobody said that. Ain't nobody. The authorities haven't come out and related. They ain't did no damn press conference and told y'all the hell that. Why are y'all putting them people on the front of y'all fucking videos and making it seem photoshopping shit and making it seem like this and, and look at them. Look at the images. It's not even really them people. Y'all, they had a woman on here. Oprah has always been thick with it. Okay? When she was just a little bit overweight, even after she lost weight, the woman that always, she, she naturally big bones. She always had big breasts, always got big hips, always had big butt. Okay? Even when she lost weight and every damn thing. Y'all, the one image of, that I seen, it, the shit's so photoshopped, talking about some all diddy and over sex tape, them being released. The woman literally look, I, I, Oprah probably ain't been that size from since when she was first you know when she when she was coming up when she was auditioning for parts and different things or whatever before she became really famous with the talk shows and all kinds of shit y'all that was not no damn open look at everybody that's in that image there was all they either photoshopped some of the ones like I said they have paste took these people's heads and place them on other people's bodies and other ones you can look at it these are like doppelganger like look-alike type of fucking people it's not them how stupid can y'all be them people got enough money all together they could come together and got enough money all together for y'all dumb asses not to know shit what in the hell make you think that all that shit there that y'all talking about, and then you click on the video, and it's nothing but the same regurgitated ass information, some, some, either some automated ass voice talking about this, that, and the other, same information you heard over and over and the fuck over again, or the same liars that circle around and saying a whole bunch of shit that they ain't got the fuck the proof of, because the people that have proof, they ain't got to be doing all the fucking extra that is going the fuck on, and even, and even, I done got to the point where even some of them, even those of them who were really there, they are still being paid on the back fucking end to mention other fucking people's names. They ain't got these clout hungry ass bitches. They ain't got shit to do with shit. Now, interesting enough, I do I do believe that Jaguar Wright is a targeted individual. I do believe the woman was definitely uh, went through some shit in her life and she was definitely victimized um, when she was younger. Okay, and when she was a part of that thing, there was a lot of things that she had to do behind the scenes. See, she put a lot of people on blast. And like, oh, I seen this, and oh, I heard that, and all such and such happened to such and such. Well, she ain't gonna tell you all the shit she had to fucking do. How how low down and dirty did she? You know how low can she go? And what she had to do to be in there for the brief moment that she was in there. Majority of the people she talked about all of that damn time, she ain't never met these people, partying with these people, mixing mean with these people at the fuck all. And always talking about somebody else's damn business. And some old shit. Okay? Like, seriously. Like, right now, she just on some get it how she live type shit. Cloud chasing ass type shit. Now, somebody is definitely, she still got a handler. Somebody is definitely feeding her information. But everything that she talk about, the interesting thing is, just like with Allie Carter, the shit that they talk about, technically be real shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, that goes on. They don't fucking know about it. It's either researchable shit or it's secondhand to fuck gossip. But they tell the story in 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 the sense of 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 oh I was there I've seen it I was a part of it it happened to me and you're lying because as long as like first of all Jaguar ain't been a part of the damn industry since what the nineties 
maybe the early 2000s, okay? I definitely feel like she had seen some shit and went through some shit and probably was victimized during that time. But she wasn't in the part of the industry or mixing me with the industry but that long, okay? And after that, them people don't have no damn dealings with her. So what the fuck is she, is she talking about? The majority of the damn time. And out of everybody that you hear talk, oh, this and that and going on and blah, 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 blah. First of all, and, and, and they always talk about affidavits and shit. Anybody can tell a story and go and tell their story to an authority figure. And it's going to be typed up and wrote up. And at the top of it, it says fucking affidavit. Okay? An affidavit is nothing but a, a, a technically like a, a, a report of events. Whether those events are true or not. An affidavit is not a, a testament of fucking truth. Or proof. Okay? They have everybody that's ever spoke out. Alec Carter, you know. Nobody pays attention to that it was only during the supposed one year when she willingly ran away from Child Protective Services. Not they was trafficking her. Not Child Protective Services trafficking her. Okay? But that she ran away from Child Protective Services and the facility or the foster home or whatever that she was in. During that time, she was on the street. She was willingly prostituting. She hooked up with whatever type of pimp during that one year because after that she been with that white woman who's her hands a lot okay who facilitated her turning tricks ever since she was a kid because that's how long she been knowing her yeah even when that woman said claimed that she worked for child protective services and with foster children and y'all don't see nothing wrong with that. And out of everything that gets in there, everything that she talked about, everything that they talk about, you would think this was like all her life. That she was captive within the industry of people and a bruise that happened. She was not. Everybody else who didn't spoke out, oh, I was there at the parties and this, that, and the other, whatever. They are visibly in pictures. They are visibly half proof. There is this, that, and the other this is made up you're making this up and people are being paid now the people who are real victims are getting to those people and paying them a little something extra to say hey mention Allie Carter's name and say she, you seen her there mention Jack Rod Wright's name and say you seen her there like come on anyway y'all that's not what this reading is about. I just wanted to say that real quick. Because I've been seeing a whole lot of fuck shit. All them, all them videos that y'all see online now. That's like dragging this shit. You know, never let a good crisis go to waste, baby. Okay? They never let a good crisis go to waste. Okay? Meanwhile, it's all other kind of fuck shit that's going on behind y'all damn back. Because they got y'all distracted with this damn shit. Okay? Y'all need to understand. Like I said, when it comes to these wealthy elite people. These folks got enough money for you not to know shit. Okay? Nothing. So when some do slip and your simpleton ass find out about it, it's because it's a set up from high up and they have allowed you to know the fuck about it. You understand? If you think the power was that be, the shadow government ain't still pulling the strings of all the fucking puppets, y'all just as silly as you want to be. Okay? But every time these situations happen, y'all get so fucking massively distracted. Everybody grasp onto that shit that is some damn body and you use it and use it and drain it. Of, it don't matter if it's a celebrity that died. It don't matter if it's a celebrity scandal. Or somebody getting locked up, somebody getting called out, somebody being put on blast and all this other kind of shit. And I'm out. Y'all grasp and y'all run with it. And y'all understand a lot of that shit be purposeful distractions for you to look that way while they doing something this way. And then you get all these creative damn people with their scripted bullshit 
They photoshopped their ass pictures and shit. If 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 the media ain't put that shit out, if TMZ ain't put that shit out, the ones who really in there, like come on, everything else that you're seeing is the fuck stage. It's the fuck set up. People's being paid to say this and to do that and all this other kind of shit. And y'all act like y'all don't know that. And everybody is feeding off this bullshit. And I'm, I'm talking about making hella money off of. People getting hundreds of thousands of millions of fucking views off of photoshopped ass images and shit with the same regurgitated ass information when you do click on the damn video. It's stupid. And I'm not saying that you say, oh, this whole thing is some lie. This ain't going on because, I mean, let's, uh, let's be honest. It's some sneaky, freaky, creepy shit that goes on everywhere in the world. Well, yeah. The, the industry, the government, and different shit too. It's gonna happen time and time to fuck again. Okay? But to purposely sit up and fabricate some shit just so you can keep having a story, just so you can drain a situation to damn death. To Photoshop some shit just so you can get some oohs and some ahs and some wows. From damn people. Like you really got some. You know really got the inside scoop. Them is not them damn people. And I'm going to tell y'all something else. That nobody is paying the fuck attention to. If you think. That somebody like. um Diddy. Or Jay Z. Or anybody else. Any one of them. Any one of them that's in the energy. That's touching a bill or more. If you think they got that type of money and they only mix and mingle with fucking black people, you stupid. You stupid. Because they wouldn't even have them type of money if it wasn't for the white folks. But ask yourself, isn't it, isn't it interesting that every one of the supposed victims only calling out black people? Black men, black women. Do you honestly think it was only black people at Diddy's parties? Ain't none of them white folks that was there being called the fuck out. Y'all done called out Denzel and photoshopped him in images and shit. You done called out Jay-Z and Beyonce and photoshopped these people and shit or whatever. Is them people involved in anything? I don't know. I wasn't there. I would have to do a reading on it and see. But... The fact of the matter is, y'all going off in uh, uh, assumptions and photoshopping shit, making up shit, and then when some shit pop up, I'll be like, "See, I told you, I told you." That's why people like Jack Rod Wright is on. I told you so, ass fucking tour right now. Y'all go, y'all need to listen to me. I told you. Got Jaguar and Orlando Brown sitting up side by side with each other and shit. This boy on the full blown ass mind control. We ain't the fuck on drugs. Got him on other people goddamn podcasts and shows and shit. Meanwhile, he deep throating fucking microphones and different shit. Why is some kitty ass background in, in, in the fucking background sitting up there with Ray J and shit? Like, come the fuck on, man. This is y'all entertainment, though. Ray J had to get up and walk the fuck on off and different shit like that. They had a whole bunch of subliminal ass shit in there. I seen the whole video. I seen what it was. That's I mean, you know, when it is what it is. It's weird though. And I'm gonna tell you another thing that's weird. It's a whole lot of bitches around here that call themselves trying to put people on blast, questioning people's sexuality, bitch, and you ain't even came out the class. Why don't you tell people that you bisexual? That you part of the LGBT community? Like, I ain't never seen so many people fuck worried about other people's damn genitals and their sexualities. It's, it's, it's absurd. Like, why is it your business if, if somebody is gay or not? Because it's, it's this whole damn, like, theme of calling out male uh, rappers, especially the rappers, male rappers and, and, and male actors that's black specifically, who are down low. 
and even other celebrities, female celebrities, and or just females in general, just other people in general, putting them on blast. But like, why does it matter? It is not a fucking crime for anybody to be gay. They come out when the fuck they get ready. Why is it your business? Why are you making it a point? And I hate. I, why is you making it a point to put this person on the fuck blast? When you bisexual, your goddamn self, and you ain't told the word that you bisexual. Like it don't make fucking sense. It don't make sense. But this literally what's going on. Besides like being, you know, the shit where like somebody being trafficked, abducted, uh, 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 physically, uh, um, sexually or whatever the abuse and shit that's real shit that goes on every fucking day definitely should be looked the fuck at but but somebody's sexuality bitch it ain't your business fuck do you mean you got sexual your goddamn self Especially for the ones who in the industry, and, then, and that's why I could call whole shit on, on, on a lot of this bullshit, okay? Because all of them who are in the industry, they know how it, how it goes the fuck down behind the scenes. Y'all know what they, y'all know what y'all got to do to get it, and y'all to fuck with it. A lot of this shit that them people have to do is by force. It's only some of them who probably down with some shit by choice. And other words of this, this doing this or that is learned fucking behavior. They've been shown that shit. They've been taught that shit. That shit is expected of them. For their fame, for their fortune, for their attention, for their recognition. So when the shit go to fuck down. And they have other celebrities turn on other fucking celebrities. Y'all all fucking know. You may not want to tell the general public the fucking truth. But y'all all know how it goes down. Behind the scenes. That's why it be, that's why it, it, it be confusing. It's like they expect these people. Everybody know what the fuck a casting couch is. You hear about the casting couch when it comes to the actors and the actresses and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? It come from way back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Because in the industry, it ain't really about your talent, skills, and ability. It's about who did you fuck. Who did you suck in the right place to get you that goddamn position? So the cast count's been around for a long fucking time. Everybody fucking know it. Everybody in the hand to suck on the fuck a manager, a producer, a director, uh, or some damn body. They all know it. So when you see this shit go down, I'm telling you, it's a set up from fucking hot up. Because there's a lot of shit that is expected for them. To, uh, to, uh, that is put on there. And, 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 and at the end of the day, it's fucked up. It's wrong. I'm not telling you it's right. But it goes on. And they know it goes on. And they know that they are they are a part of it. They have to be a part of it. Otherwise, they wouldn't have their fame and the fortune they got. They wouldn't have the position, the titles, the roles they got. Because they know that's how the powers that be gets down. That's how them reptilians get down. Them shape shifters get down and what they expect of them. So when you see this shit go down and they put on blast and expose like this or whatever, I'm telling you, it is a set up from high up. I'm talking about way the fuck up. We talking about the rulers and the masters of the world, the banks of the world, because those motherfuckers is the ones who even pay the people's checks that you see who is authority figures when it comes to the police and detectives and agents. It wouldn't be no goddamn police, detectives and agents if it wasn't for those of them who are high up. So when you see people who are wealthy, who are getting put on blessed, it's a dramatization for y'all ass. It's a set up from high up. It's a distraction to get a reaction. Because of some other shit that's going on behind the scenes right up under y'all goddamn nose. Why y'all distracted by this bullshit. Now like I said, I'm not saying that this ain't no real shit that goes the fuck on. What I'm telling you is that it's a set up from high up. And from the, the, the victims that y'all see. If you notice, cast it and speak out to a particular point in time. That's when she was allowed to speak. Otherwise, she would have spoke out as soon as she was no longer with Diddy. As soon as they broke up. You think they actually broke up one day? You see how he treated her? Do you actually think they broke up one day? And 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 uh he just told her to go on, yeah, chick, yeah, go, go, you're free, go. Mm-mm. Baby, no. 
That ain't how that go. She left when he released her. Or allowed her to go on to somebody else. And that sounds real fucked up. It should not be that way. I'm not saying that because it's right. And it should be that way. I'm telling you it is that way. And that's how the fuck it goes on. When she spoke out when she did. It's because she was allowed to. Because she was told to. Why? Because it's a set up. From high up. The high ups. Was ready. To tear down Diddy for whatever reason. Could it be he pissed off the powers that be? Maybe. Yeah. And just like any other ones that you can mention. But y'all stupid as the fuck. It, it amazes me. I'm sitting back watching this shit, okay? Because it's a whole lot of wealthy fucking people. And, 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 and your Jay-Z's and your, your Diddy's, yeah, they touching a the bill. It's a whole lot of other ones. Hell, uh, 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 Oprah got billions of dollars. Okay? All these people. It's a lot of them that's got billions. Okay? But believe it or not, it's people who are even above them that is way more wealthy than them. Y'all can't even count their money. Their money so old, so dirt old, and in 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 long. That's way more powerful than them. That's been throwing parties since you knew the word parties, secret parties, masquerade parties, hidden parties, where all kinds of shit goes on. In dungeons and tunnels, undergrounds, in, in on islands and every goddamn where else. Do you notice? Even every victim that's speaking out right now is black. Do you notice that every fucking celebrity that is being talked about, that is a part of this shit that is being talked about, is black? Not one wealthy white person being put on blast. Not a one. It's a set up from high up. And you stupid as the fuck if you think a black man became the a billionaire without having no white friends. Without having no dealings with no white people high up in power that's more powerful and way more wealthy than them. Those black people who have that type of wealth without the help of uh, 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 approval or assistance of a, 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 a white man that's wealthier than them, baby, they in other countries. They have royalty in other countries and actually own all their lands and every fucking thing, okay? But here in America, don't know black people touch that type of money without brushing the shoulders of some wealthy elite, white men and women. Pile up in power. Okay? Because none of them people is made up of them 13 bloodlines that's at the tip top of the damn pyramid. Y'all better pay attention. Y'all better wake up and pay the fuck attention. But anyway, I said all that to say they pay, these people want to silence you. Okay. You know too much. You an activist. You a truther. You outspoken. You're strong willed. You're powerful. Okay. You're strong minded. And 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 you a messenger. You're prophets, prophetess, or something like that, or what have you. They want to silence you. Okay. And they on some real dirty, shisty ass shit. I don't know if they trying to. They either trying to. Uh, uh, like fabricate some type of crime against you and or, or exploit you sexually in some type of way or something real fucking shisty man I'm trying to tell you that's why spirits say stay cool yeah because there's a hidden agitator there's hidden deceivers 
and there's some type of veiled fucking threat. Okay? Yeah, look, whispers of betrayal here. Hidden messages reveal the treachery of a trusted ally, leading to significant consequences here. There could have been somebody that you thought was a friend, that you thought it was a trusted ally, like a family member or something, okay? But they're involved in some type of treachery here. Something with some type of hidden messages, okay? Some type of setup is going on, okay? Y'all better pay attention. Y'all better pay attention. I sit up there and listen to that girl's story, okay? And and everything, and I'm like, damn, this is seriously fucked up. I'm like, damn, this the this the girl that's in the pictures and different things because they were showing the pictures or whatever, but her her face was blurred out and different things like that. And some of them, there's some uh, people who actually you know have shown like some people is blowing her face now or whatever because she was like a way young teenager. When the when 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 the shit was going on or whatever, okay, yeah, they trying to silence you, but you got spiritual strength or whatever. But she's a full grown woman now, or what have you, um. And so, uh, she doing these interviews and and, and talking, and she breaking down, talking about this, that, and the other, and you know, who the people that she doing interviews with, they putting up the pictures and showing like you know when she there at the mansion and 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 around did it, sitting and did it, like you know all this other kind of shit or whatever that's going on. But that last interview that I seen of her, and she was like the last couple of things, she looked off to the side, almost like she was. Uh, somebody was directing her to say something or she was reading some or something like that or whatever she just real quick real briefly out of the whole interview that she doing yeah and then one part of your jaguar was there and yeah Allie was there at that one party she was telling me to that i have to get myself wet for her because it was hurting so bad i said ain't this a bitch i said somebody done paid her to mention this girl now because she was not the fuck there Spirit told me she was not. This girl wasn't there. Anyway. Spirit, um, but you have spiritual strength, okay? Whoever you are, you are spiritually strong, okay? Um, I feel like this is what helps you to stand your ground against your oppressors, your haters, your naysayers, your bullies, and different things or what have you, okay? Because of your hope, your faith, your, you know, your, it gives you strength, okay? Um, yeah. Spirit clarified that your ops want to kill you. Yeah. It's something about your wisdom here as well, okay? Something significant to your wisdom, Spirit is saying, okay, yeah, I told you, you are truth, that you speak some type of truth, there's something about your wisdom in, 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 in truth here, okay, yeah, transformation here, okay, these haters won't do, okay, they like, let me transform, yeah, okay, they want to transform you, okay, they, 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 they want to cause your death, okay, because you triumphing in this thing, okay, um, and now here comes some damn emotional manipulator in some type of way, but spirit is saying this person is toxic, this person is a wolf in sheep's clothing, this is a family member to some of y'all that's coming towards y'all with this emotional ass abuse ass shit, okay, you better tell them to bag, bag and give you 50 feet, like seriously, for it really be a problem up in here, don't start no shit, and it won't be no shit, okay, Spirit, what is this emotional manipulation? Yeah, Spirit say stand your ground. You're going to have to stand your ground against this person, this toxic person who a wolf in sheep's clothing, uh, who a family member, some shit like that, who 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 trying to emotionally manipulate you in some type of way with, with, with some shit, okay? You're going to have to stand your ground against this person, okay? Knock if you buck if you have to, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody ain't your friend shadows here. You got people in the shadows plotting, planning, and scheming, and doing things behind the scenes, behind closed doors, behind your back, indulging in criminal activity. They're doing something in secret, Spirit is saying here, okay? These the, 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 these persons are, they're, they're envious of you, okay? They're doing some type of divination abuse uh, against you. Witchcraft, sorcery, black magic, voodoo here. This is a karmic-ass individual here, okay? Spirit is saying, yeah in the shadows doing things behind your back trying to set you up behind your back spirit is saying okay yeah it's something significant to your awareness here okay you're you 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 are aware of something you have insight okay you had an epiphany and awakening okay you know the truth you know clarity here okay yeah spirit clarify um your worst enemies are the closest uh to you 
your worst enemies are the closest to you. Yeah, Spirit is saying that's the truth. That's clarity. Okay? But you're going to have some type of triumphant success over these yo, yo, these worst enemies of yours. Okay? Spirit is saying, yeah, why? See, this is why they mad. This is why they mad. Okay? Baby, it's something about your, your third eye chakra and your crown chakra that's got them upset, baby. Okay? They upset. Mm hmm Look at this, child. They even got authority people that want to sacrifice you. Look at this authority and sacrifice, okay? Yeah, your local government could be involved, okay? The high-ups outside your, your, your state know what's going on, but there, there's something, there's a significance to, um, to your local government uh, as it relates to the state that you live in here, okay? They hid behind fake accounts and shit. They watching you and shit. These people chained to the devil. They sold they sold to the devil, okay? They are part of cults, covens, and secret societies, okay? Uh, they satanic, may sun, demonic, whatever, okay? But this authority, okay, trying to sacrifice you, Spirit is saying, okay? Spirit clarify, they, they, they're jealous of your gifts. Why? They jealous of your gifts, okay? Yeah, because you're coming into some type of recognition and reward because of your gifts here. They want to cause you conflict and defeat, Spirit is saying here. Yeah. Spirit, clarify they jealous of your gifts. They jealous of your gifts, okay? There's some type of accelerated motion that is happening with you, okay? You're coming into recognition and reward. There's accelerated emotion. You like to shoot and start, okay? The sky's the limit for you, okay? You could be shining very brightly, uh, uh, gaining some type of popularity or following or something like that or what have you, okay? Um, they know they can't lie to you no more. They can't play in your face no more. They know that, um, they can't hide you in the, anymore, okay? People are seeing you. People are hearing you. People are knowing you and different things like that, okay? Yeah, they want to cause conflict and defeat in your life. They want to cause obstacles and challenges, okay? They're also trying to get away with some type of fraud, some type of theft, some type of something with insurance uh, or, or, or some kind of monies or something like that. Look, power, okay? Yeah, I told you you got persons in power, persons in authority here. This person looks like a whole damn shapeshifter. He has men, half beast here, has men, half lion here, okay? This could be this egotistical celebrity here. This could be this boss daddy who's stable, who's rich, who a business owner, big dick energy, CEO, whoever he is, okay? Very threatening individual doing things to intimidate you, threaten you, bother you or some shit like that or what have you, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Spirit, clarify they jealous of your gifts. They jealous of your gifts. They want you suffering in silence, Spirit is saying. Why are they jealous of your gifts, Spirit, okay? There's some type of material and spiritual prosperity that's coming to you because of your gifts. Spirit is saying, a firm foundation, okay? Yeah, they want you in mental conflict and heartache and loss, Spirit is saying, okay? What is this? Let me see. Let me let me, let me me look at something real quick, okay? Um, let me see what the hook gonna be, okay? Spirit, what is what are the gifts? What are these gifts that... Um, You may do something, you may do some type of angel readings here, okay? You are able to convey uh, divine messages of guidance uh, from the angelic realms, Spirit is saying, okay? Yeah, there's something also with dream interpretation. You are able to uh, interpret dreams in some type of way. You are able to find the deeper meaning to bring clarity and guidance in some type of way. Spirit is saying, what are these gifts? Remote viewing, okay? You have the ability of remote viewing, Spirit is saying, okay? Yeah, you're gaining information about distant or unseen things, uh, subjects, objects, or locations, okay? Yeah, your clear audience, okay? You have some type of clear audience, um, okay? You have... Um, Something with words and sounds, hearing, okay? You're able to deliver messages from from uh, from uh, the spirits and your guides, okay? Yeah. Spirit, what are the gifts here? Why are they jealous of the collective's gifts? What are they why are they jealous of the collective's gifts? You may do some type of something with candle. You could be a candle maker here. Okay, somebody's definitely doing spell work. Maybe you know how to do spell work yourself. We haven't got anything that you are doing, any type of spell work, but it's in you. I'm also seeing clairvoyance here. Okay. Yeah, you can see... Um, 
something about you seeing through your mind's eye past present and future okay spirit what other um You could be a ch charm caster. You could know how to throw bones. Something with coaching. Spirit, what other gifts? What other gifts? Charm casting. You have the... Uh, uh, th this could be uh, any one of your gifts, guys. Okay? Something with charm casting. Okay, I'm also seeing the pendulum here. Okay, yeah, you could work with a pendulum. Okay, you get some type of spiritual and intuitive guidance and answers, no matter how simple or complex, with the, the pendulum. Okay, you could definitely be someone who is spiritual. Um, you also have clear empathy, okay? I'm not sure how many of you all know what clear empathy is, okay? But it's like, um, you're like tuned into like the emotions, the thoughts, and physical energies of others, okay? Um, you could be an empath. Yeah. You also could be a healer of some kind. You can, um... Something with crystals here. There's something about creativity, period. You're very creative in some type of way. You could have a multitude, like multiple gifts here. Something about a creative expressions. Okay. Something with your creativity, spirit is saying. Any other messages, spirit? Any other uh, gifts? Okay. They're jealous of your gifts, spirit is saying. They're jealous of your gifts. You may make candles. Or do something with candles. Spirit is saying. You could use a spirit board. Okay. You're able to communicate with spirits here. You may use a, a, a spirit board. You could even be a medium. Astral traveler. Okay. You could astral travel. These are gifts that you have that these people are jealous of. Okay. You're able to use your discernment. You have discernment, okay? Believe it or not, you would think everybody has discernment, but not everybody has discernment, Spirit is saying. I'm seeing automatic writing and peacemaker flipped over here, okay? You do some type of automatic writing. I call it channel writing, but it's automatic writing, okay? You're able to tap into, like, deep wisdom of the universe um, for healing, for growth, um, you know, for one on the soul's journey here, okay? You're a peacemaker in some way, shape, form, or fashion, Spirit is saying. You use your skills of diplomacy or something here. Something is significant to, um, like you, you, you could be, I feel like you have a multitude of gifts. You may even be able to read palms, Spirit is saying here. These people are jealous of your gifts, though. They're get jealous of your gifts. Your psychic energy. Okay? You could even be able to channel in some type of way. Maybe you do some type of channeling. Okay? Yeah, but you could have a multitude of gifts here. Dice divination. Even. Runes. Spiritual writing. It's something you're able to, like, tap into, like, the past, present, and the future. Y'all, there's this lady online. I kid y'all not. This woman came from nowhere, okay? Um, at least to me. I, I, I don't know how long she's been online. I had never seen her. I've never seen her before, y'all. But, y'all, I'm telling y'all, this woman is from the past. Okay? She looks like she's still in the past. And I'm not saying that in like a disrespectful way. I'm not saying like the woman is ugly or or anything like that. 
Like the woman, she looks vintage. Even her background looks vintage. Her, her whole surroundings look. This woman is from the past, y'all. Okay? It's like, um, and, and like, it's not like, like I said, I'm not saying like the woman is ugly. It's not like she look old or decrepit or ugly or anything. I'm not saying anything like that. It's not like she carries herself poorly or anything like, but I'm telling y'all, this woman is vintage. Okay. And her eyes are even old. Okay. Y'all, this woman came up out of nowhere. I've never seen, long as I've been doing several, I have never seen this woman online before. And I've been seeing her uh, readings and different things like that. Y'all, this woman is from the past. I'm telling you, this woman is from the past. But the, the eerie thing is, it's not just like looking, you know how you can look at somebody and be like, oh, you, you got an old soul, but they still look like in the present like they are in this lifetime this woman is somebody from the past and still looks like the past okay i kid you not like if this woman she literally looks like um and i don't know how old this woman is but she looks like somebody from it's like she's stuck somewhere between the 60s and the 80s but it's how she looks right now in 2024. And it's not just her appearance. It's her everything. It's her background. It's her scenery. It all looks vintage, y'all. I'm telling you, spirit keeps, every time I see this woman, spirit tell me she's somebody from the past. This woman's eyes is almost like, um, It's so interesting because she has to look how, how, um, those of you who have read the, the Bible or what have you, whether you believe it or not, even people who are non-believers have read the Bible before, okay? Especially like scientists and historians and different things like that. So this is not about your beliefs, okay? But, um... The, the portion of the Bible that express that, that, that talks about um, how God looks okay um, like um, this woman has features like that this I'm telling y'all this woman looks vintage her eyes looks like like bronze like um but like it's a it's a brown but almost fiery like it almost looked like someone with like a supernatural um something and she may wear contacts or something like that or whatever but i'm telling y'all it's not i'm not saying this woman is ugly like she 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 dressed decently she have her nails done um but like i'm telling y'all she looks vintage even like her, the jewelry she wears, how her hair is cut, the style that her hair is cut in. But the woman, her skin is smooth and it looks like, uh, remember how, uh, God was being depicted as like, uh, like, a um, what did it say? Um, now she don't have the white hair like, um, um. Well, actually, um, it was said that God's uh, hair was like made of wool and different things like that or whatever. But remember, like it was like uh, it, it was saying that like God's uh, fit looked like it was like dipped in like um, like burnt bronze or something like this is how this woman's skin looks like. OK, and her eyes looks like it's something between it's like it's something stronger than a hazel. The color that's called hazel. It almost looks like, like a fiery something in bronze was mixed together. And this woman has this beam from her. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, this woman is from the past. It could even be further than that. With the way she carries herself, with the way she looks, it gives you but somewhere between 60-ish, 80-ish, okay? But she could, it could be farther back than that. 
It could be further back than that, but I swear to y'all, Spirit is telling me this woman is from the past. But it's almost like, and, and I don't know how old she is. Okay, I believe she's an old, she's, you know, she's like, uh, she's a mature woman. Like, she's not like a uh, elderly mature, but the smoothness of her skin looks like, um, oh, I don't even know how to explain it right. Like, say, say in the past, say this woman died, um, when she was young, say in her 20s or 30s or something. This person is in the present right now, but how she looked when, at the age she was when she died. But she looks vintage in 2024. This woman looks vintage. She is from the freaking past in the age she was when she passed in the past. I hope, I, I hope y'all can understand what I mean. But y'all, I'm telling y'all, this woman is from the past. Every time I see it, I'm telling y'all. It's some with her spirit. That woman is from the past. She is somebody. It's, it almost seems like it's a. Every time I see her, it's, it feels like sometimes. It's like this person in time travel. She's from the past. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, she's from this woman. Don't even look like she. She's obviously here for a reason. So I'm not saying this to be like, oh, you don't belong here. Like, you know, there's nothing wrong with the woman. I'm not saying that. But I'm telling you. It goes deeper than just saying somebody's got an old soul. This person is from the past, y'all. You know how usually, like on TV, when they have, like, when people astral travel and different things like that, this person goes either, either back in time or go, like, either go in the future or go back in time or whatever. And, like, nobody that, that is around knows that person. And no, it's almost like I'm seeing somebody who has time travel, but I'm seeing them from the time that they are supposed to be in, but they're in this time and they are fucking vintage. I'm telling you, this is what this woman looks like. And it's not just her. Her entire scenery looks like this. I, I, I can't even explain it, y'all. I can't even explain it. But I'm telling you, that woman's from somewhere else. She is from the past. Not only is she from the past, but she looks how she would have looked in the past. Whoever she is from the past, she she could have died in the past, um, maybe when she was younger, because she looks that way now. She could be an older woman. Like, I don't know how old a woman is, but I almost feel like I'm trembling right now. Like, I'm pretty rough, I'm cold, but I'm telling y'all, this woman is from the past. I don't even understand how to, like, I don't, I don't, I don't even know how to explain it to y'all any better than what I just did, but I'm telling y'all that woman is vintage. She is from somewhere else. Okay? I'm telling y'all. She's somewhere else. Um, and it could even go deeper than just saying the past or, or vintage or something. She she uh, she probably comes from some other extraterrestrial species who have like like this burnt bronzy fiery type of eyes and like this um her skin complexion uh are like uh how can i say it right are um Okay, first of all, when it's like midnight outside and you look up and you see the stars, those are your spirit guides, okay? That's what your spirit guides are. They're that color, okay? That's what that woman looks like, okay? And her eyes light up like a freaking star in the freaking sky, okay? But it's like a bronze, a fiery bronze. I'm telling y'all, this woman is either from another world or she's from the past. But she looks vintage. Her whole scenery is vintage. I'm telling you, Spirit has told me this, okay? That's all I'm going to say about that. Like, I'm not saying the woman is ugly. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with her or anything. I don't, I'm not even sure if she is aware. But I'm telling you, she's from the freaking past. Okay? Of somewhere. Of, of something but it's like she's here and not of this time 
Okay? Like, it's, 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 it's a trip. Okay? So, this has gone on longer. Like, I'm going to talk to y'all about so many other things. Okay? But, like, I'm, I'm led by spirit. So, obviously, it was meant for me to say what I'm saying to you. Okay, y'all? Let's, let's, let's get some more clarification here. Spirit clarify. They're trying to silence you. They're trying to silence you. They're not already... Oh no, they're gonna deck over there. There could be a queen of coins in the reverse. Capricorn Taurus or Virgo. Feminine in the reverse. Who wants to silence you? Who is a part of the group of individuals who wants to silence you? Spirit clarify. They want to silence you. There's a fire sign. There's a king of wands. Fire sign man. Um Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, who wants to silence you? I'm seeing all these people. There's a Queen of Wands, a Fire Sign Woman, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, who wants to silence you? I'm seeing all these people. I'm seeing all these people that want to silence you. There's a, um, there's also a younger Earth Sign person. Um, they don't have to be, like, real young, but they're younger than the, um, um, like they could be like in their, their twenties or something like it's a, it's a younger person or the person may be younger than you at the very least. Um, there's more than one earth sign, but that, that earth sign feminine, she was in the reverse. Okay. So yeah, now I'm seeing the Knight of wands here. So there's also a younger fire sign here. There's multiple fire signs and there's multiple earth signs that wants to silence you here. Okay. So you're clarifying they want to silence you. I'm seeing the emperor here. So this could be um, a father, father figure. This could be somebody in power, authority, leadership, um, rulership, or something like that. There's a lot of people who want to silence you. Yeah. Whoever this emperor is, they're in their shadow side. They're in their dark side. They're in their south node here. That could be this person, this shapeshifter that's in power here, this boss daddy that's doing some type of threatening, intimidating, something bothering you. This could be this egotistical celebrity person. Um, this could be this alien reptilian person. Okay. And what have you. But there's a there's a masculine individual who's in power, who's in authority, who's in rulership, who's very wealthy. This person is in their shadow side, their dark side, or their south node, okay? Um, they're definitely trying to silence you. All these people keep coming out. My goodness. All these people keep coming out. I'm seeing the queen of wands again. Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. I'm seeing the Knight of Cups. There's a lot of people who are involved. I'm seeing the King of Wands again. Okay. This could be this King of Wands, such as Aries or Leo, who's this Emperor in the Shadow Sign. Okay. Yeah. They want to silence you because you're a High Priestess. <laughs> you're a High Priestess. It's interesting because you are a High Priestess, but you have a High Priest who wants to silence you. This, this could be this, this person in power. Okay, you're a high priestess though, so you're psychic, you're empathic, you are, in, you're highly intuitive, okay, you're very wise, you're knowledgeable, okay, you know secret knowledge, secret information, occultic knowledge here, okay, you see this cat here, standing side by side with you, looking forward um, here, okay, so you are, um, yeah, I feel like you're a light worker, you got some witchy in you, if, whether you practice or not, but you're a good witch. You're of the light, okay? Um, you're high priestess, though, okay? So, like I said, like the high priestess energy is like the holy grail of, of, of energy. There's a queen of swords who's trying to silence you, of course, Libra, Gemini, Feminine. You've got a lot of people trying to silence you that's working against you as a part of this whole plot against you here, okay? Um, it's that between worlds type of energy here, okay? But yeah, you could have a multitude of different uh, talent skills or abilities or what have you here, but this is the reason why these people want to silence you. So you're clarify um, your ops want to kill you or trying to kill you there's a king of cups pisces cancer scorpio masculine um who's trying to silence you as well who's working against you as well okay i'm seeing the magician here okay so somebody could be doing is doing uh, is doing some type of witchcraft sorcery black magic or voodoo 
um, doing some type of hexes, curses, or spells on you. They're trying to manifest um, your death is what they're doing. They're doing death spells, death magic on you, okay? Emotional manipulator here. So I'm seeing the Eight of Wands here. Somebody's going to send some type of swift, fast communication, messages, news, or information to you. They're either going to travel to you and give, and, you know, uh, give you some type of... Uh, some type of communication of some kind here okay or either this person could send you some type of messages news or information this could come by phone text call um email or in person here but there's some type of swift fast communication messages news or information here okay everybody ain't your friend we got the moon here okay so like i said before the moon is all about secret things hitting things what's done in the dark okay um these people are definitely sneaking and creeping around here, okay? There's a lot of criminal activities. There's a lot of shady people, dirty dealings, okay? Um, a lot of illusions, okay? There's things that's going on behind the scenes, behind closed doors, behind your back. These people are plotting, planning, and scheming against you, okay? Because they want to silence you, okay? Um, yeah, your worst enemy are the people closest to you here. I'm seeing the Seven of Swords here. These people are liars, cheaters, and thieves. They're manipulators, they're con artists, they're false persons, they're wearing a mask, they're cloaking themselves, they're hiding who they truly are, um, what they're really about. They're betrayers, they're sabotagers, they're backstabbers, spirit is saying, okay? Like I said, they've been sneaking and creeping around trying to get away with something here. They're cowardly, they do things under false pretenses, spirit is saying here. Again, I'm seeing this Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Feminine who's working against you spirit um clarify um they're jealous of your gifts they're jealous of your gifts i feel like you've put a lot of hard work time energy effort and investment into your gifts here and these people are jealous of it there could even be a harvest that is coming in for you in some way shape form or fashion spirit is saying okay they're jealous of your gifts they're jealous of your gifts spirit clarify they're jealous of your gifts yeah this has to do with your job your your work your occupation your career you have some type of talent skills or abilities even spiritual gifts here okay i feel like you work very hard very diligently okay um you're very dedicated to something you put a lot of detail in something you're very committed to the work that you do here you have some type of specialty some type of skill you've reached some level of mastery here okay um I feel like you do a lot of things here. I'm seeing a skull here and a crow on this card here. You could communicate with the dead. I'm also seeing a candle here. And I'm seeing a book here. You may write some type of books or your or there's some type of work you do whatever work you do you're very very good at it here okay you've put a lot of time energy and effort into your gifts here okay but you're someone who's very tempered you're very balanced and patient spirit is saying you're a light worker you're a seer okay you're a chosen one you're an earth angel you have this divine angelic connection to the spirit realm to the most high okay to angelic being spirit is saying okay um, you could definitely be a highly sensitive indigo, okay? You're in this temperance energy. You do things in moderation here. You're an earth angel, spirit is saying. And they're jealous of your gifts. They're jealous of your gifts, spirit is saying, okay? Yeah, wow. I'm seeing the six, the six of pentacles, the sun, and the ten of pentacles here, okay? So you could be receiving some type of gifts of generosity, um, out of kindness, this is going to be abundance, this is happiness, abundance, new beginnings, fulfillments, fresh starts. The Ten of Pentacles talks about wealth, okay? It talks about um, wealth, luxuries, um, family legacies, estates here, okay? You're literally going from... You have the six of coins, the seven of coins, the eight of coins, and the ten of coins here, okay? And this, as well as the temperance with the sun here, okay? And this is the reason why these people are jealous of your gifts here, okay? I feel like you're going to be very abundant um, from your gifts here, okay? Because of your talent, skills, or abilities, or your gifts here, these people could be trying to steal something from you, take something from you. They're desperate to sacrifice you or get rid of you, Okay? A lot of people coming out here. I'm seeing the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, Feminine. Okay? That's working against you here. Okay? A lot of people wanted to come out here. Yeah, I'm seeing, look. 
Three of Coins and the Death card here, okay? So there's a group of individuals who are collaborated together for the purposes of money here, okay? To, to sacrifice you, to cause your death here, okay? They're doing some type of death spells, death rituals, magic, death uh, magic on you, Spirit is saying, okay? Yeah. I'm seeing the King of uh, Coins here as well, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, Masculine, okay? Yeah. Somebody could also be trying to do something, uh, I don't know, like, it's like they're trying to set you up by any means necessary, okay? Yeah, I'm seeing the Knight of Wands here, okay? Fire signs, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. There's several fire signs, several of them. I'm seeing the King of Swords, Cap or Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, Masculine. Who's working against you here? I'm also seeing the Knight of Swords. Whoever this air sign being is, there's there's something here. I'm seeing the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords was right behind this King of Swords and this Knight of Swords. Ultimate betrayal, disloyalty, sabotage, cruelty, hate crime, ruin. Okay, fatal endings here. Somebody has definitely done something to you. There's an air sign who all these people are working together here, but this is ultimate betrayal here. This is like some type of ultimate betrayal, okay? This is a hate crime here, okay? Somebody wants you stuck, restricted, unable to move or get about out of a situation here. Ten of Swords with the Eight of Swords here. They're planning to like ultimately betray you to have you stuck, restricted, unable to move. Or they're planning to ultimately betray you here to get you locked up or in, or in prison in some type of way or something like that. Spirit is saying. This is absurd, okay? I'm seeing the Knight of Cups here, okay? Pisces, Cancer, a Scorpio um, individual here. This person is going to get some type of karma for what they have done to you here, okay? Yeah, I'm seeing karma here with the Page of Swords here, okay? Some of these, these people, look, they're, this pentagram, you see this group of individuals in this circle, it's like they're howling at the moon here, they're doing something in secret, this pentagram, the cancels, okay? Somebody, these people are going to get some type of karma from type for some type of gossip, rumor, slander, lies, backstabbing, backbiting, hurting through the grapevine type of energy, um, stalking you, harassing you, watching you or something here. Okay. Is there any other messages? Any other messages? This is what they're planning against you. They really want to cause your death here. Okay. But they're also they're also doing things to uh, try to get you locked up, to silence you. Okay. Um, and to kill you. Yeah. Queen of Swords here. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Feminine here. But they're also trying to get away with some type of fraud. Some type of life insurance fraud. Okay. Either somebody has a life insurance policy on you that's worth a lot of money. Okay. They're trying to get away with some type of fraud. Some type of theft. Or if there was somebody else who passed away who left you some type of abundance of some kind. They're trying to steal this from you. Okay. Yeah. Queen of Wands, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. Feminine individuals here. Okay. You got celebrities. You got uh, aliens. Reptilians. You got exes, you got family, you got fake friends here, okay? Yeah, they're they're jealous of your gifts, okay? But there's some type of success, triumph, victory, or public recognition that's coming in for you. A lot of abundance, stability, security. Yeah, this is a gift from God here, okay? This abundance that is coming in for you. These people are jealous of you, Spirit is saying. They're very motivated and determined. They're driven to take action, to move forward. Somebody that made some type of decision, uh, to take some type of action to do something here, okay? Yeah, these people didn't want your hopes, wishes, or dreams coming true, but you're like literally in hermit mode. You are, you're in hermit mode. You're like, uh, you're no bother to <laughs> anyone here, okay? Spirit is saying here, yeah. You could be receiving some type of fairness or balance or justice in something here. I'm seeing the nine of coins justice with the star here. Okay, so you're shining very brightly. You could even be getting some type of justice. It's like if this eight of swords is th not them trying to get you locked up. Somebody wants you like trapped, stuck, uh, hostage, um, uh, captive 
or something like that. But this Wheel of Fortune is in the upright. It's turning in your favor. Something is fated. Something is destined for you, okay? Something is a part of your destiny, your life purpose, um, your mission here on this earth here, okay? You being balanced in all areas of your life here. This is a promise from God. This is a gift from God. Spirit is saying here, it is destined for you. Like, this is literally fated for you. It's already been said. It's already been done. It's already been written, okay? And these people are trying to change this. Yeah, King of Cups here, okay? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Masculine here, okay? Yeah, you speak some type of truth, some type of clarity here, okay? You cut through the bullshit with this sword here because you are the high priestess, Spirit is saying here. These people are jealous, envious, and intimidated by you, Spirit is saying. They want some type of retaliation, punishment, payback, or revenge on you, Spirit is saying, okay? Yeah, that's what's going on here. That's what's going on here, Spirit is saying. Yeah. You could be a water sign yourself, okay? They am, you you were abandoned, neglected, and left out in the cold. You were you were left with a lack of finances, money, resources, stability, security, support, help, assistance from anybody, or what have you here. And these people are still trying to ultimately betray you. Uh, they want you stuck, restricted, unable to move, hostage, captive. Okay, because they want to. They're they're trying to cause your death. Spirit is saying. Your ops are literally trying to kill you. There are people in power who are wealthy and elite involved. There are people in authority from your local government to higher up government. You got ex-partners and or spouses or lovers. You got fake phony fucking friends here who want revenge. You got toxic ass family who wolves in sheep's clothing. Um, that's emotional abusers, emotional manipulators. Like this is crazy, y'all. This is crazy. Okay? Yeah. Mm -mm. These people gonna get some type of karma. Like I feel like something's gonna backfire on these people. I'm seeing karma with the two of swords and the two of pentacles here. Okay, they're gonna get some type of karma because they made some type of bad decision. Okay, that's gonna have them juggling and struggling here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what's going on here. Or either this is already happening. These people are very defensive. They're very hostile. In some type of way. Now they're trying to protect themselves. Okay. Uh, feeling like a sacrifice is needing to be made. Trying to stand their ground. Have strength or something like that. Or what have you here. Yeah. But these people want to cause some type of tower in your life. Some type of chaos or tragedy. It's like somebody is hanging around waiting for something to happen here. Yeah. A whole family. This whole group of people is like hanging around. Uh, waiting for something to happen here. Okay. These people want you to feel sadness, loss, disappointment, and regret. They want there to be an end of a chapter, an end of a cycle, an end of your life here. They want you in burdens and hardships and problematic situations, overwhelmed and stressed here. They want you in heartache, heartbreak, sadness, sorrow, misery, pain, or anguish here. Yeah. This is a... <laughs> This is interesting here, okay? But these people are jealous of your gifts. They're jealous of your talent, skills, and abilities. They're jealous because um, you speak truth and clarity because you're a high priestess, because you are awakened, knowledgeable, and, and intuitive, enlightened in some type of way. Yeah. Look, this large group of people, your entire family or this, this the entire group of individuals, they are very passionate, about doing what they are doing to you, Spirit is saying. Okay? They are very passionate about moving forward, about taking action, about doing what they are doing to you. Okay? Mm-mm. Yeah. I'm seeing the Five of Cups here, sadness, loss, disappointment, and regret. I'm seeing the Tower at the bottom of the deck here, chaos, tragedies, problematic situations here, Four of Swords, somebody being hurt or injured or something like that, or, or in need of recovery or healing or recuperation in some type of way. Somebody could be trying to severely hurt you, injure you, uh, hospitalize you, uh, cripple you, hurt you, harm you in some type of way here, okay? Endanger you in some type of way here, okay?
It's like these people, it's like they want to sabotage and ruin like your destiny, your life purpose, your work, who you are as a person. They really want you dead and gone, okay? And if they can't get you dead and gone, they could want you captive or hot. They could want to hold you captive or hostage or have you restricted or locked up, locked down, okay? And if they can't do that, they want to want you injured or hurt. Um, so severely that you are crippled to the point of not being able to to work or to speak or to like a something here like this this shit is crazy bro this shit is crazy okay they they, they didn't came up with all type of flax plans and schemes okay one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven okay there's a lot of people out here okay and there could be like multiple people, you know, there could be a lot of people involved who come from, who come from the same like element or what have you here, okay? But there's like a, like 11 or 12, 12 face cards out here, y'all. So there's going to be, like I said, there could be a lot of people involved who come from the same element, okay? As the energies that's already out here, there's a lot of people that are involved here. But these people are trying to silence you. It's like they're trying to silence you by any means necessary, okay? Because you're the truth, Spirit is saying, okay? But we're going to block by and rebuke that in the name of the Most High God, Yahweh, honey. And we're going to reverse that energy and send it right back to their ass, okay? Immediately, so mote it be, okay? Like, seriously, okay? Because these folks are tripping. But that's what's going on here, y'all, honey. I didn't mean to hold y'all for so long, honey. Spirit has so many doggone different messages for y'all. On tonight, child, okay? So I hope this is giving you all the truth and the clarity that you were seeking pertaining to a situation you may be dealing with or pertaining to a situation you may notice someone else is dealing with. Um, if you are cross-watching, guys, okay? Yeah, you have this, um, this magic circle around you, okay? Protection, okay? A magic cir circle of protection uh spirit is saying okay yeah there is prosperity and abundance that is coming in for you look moon cycles these people could be doing moon magic around every damn moon cycle honey okay yeah i'm seeing the wands here intentions here this is sitting here with the eight of wands here. This literally could be a fire sign person um, who's trying to uh, emotionally manipulate you or emotionally abuse you in some type of way. Yeah. This person is doing some type of magic. Okay. This person has some type of intention here. Yeah, I'm seeing cauldron here with containment here. But everybody ain't your friend. Somebody's doing cauldron magic on you to try to contain you in some type of way, shape, form, or fashion here. Yeah, your worst enemies are the closest, the people closest to you, spirit is saying here. I'm seeing an altar here with dedication here. Somebody got you on your on the altar, honey. Okay. They have dedicated their time, energy, and effort in every way possible. Okay. Yeah, somebody could even be doing candle magic. Something could be significant to candle magic. Something with candles and magic as well, I'm seeing here. Okay. Spirit, clarify. Uh, <laughs> clarify. Uh, they're jealous of your gifts, okay? Something is, there's some type of prosperity that's coming in for you. You're a feminine energy here. We have, we have lady, goddess. You are a goddess, Spirit is saying. You're a feminine energy. Spirit is saying there's some type of prosperity that's coming in for you. These people are jealous of this. Yeah, look, balance coming in for you. You are balanced. Spirit is saying, okay, yeah, tarot cards, guidance here, okay, yeah. I'm seeing the book of shadows here. Remember, I told you that that when we're sitting there with that book here, okay, there's something significant to the book of shadows here. Secret book of shadows. Somebody could have a, a, a somebody could have a spell book or something significant to the book of shadows and some type of secrets or something here. Okay, but you're getting some type of guidance here. 
you may read tarot cards here you're gonna have balance and prosperity though your feminine energy spirit is saying okay yeah which is cottage here okay security so your cottage this witch's cottage this is like your home okay you're gonna have some type of security spirit is saying yeah you had an awakening of some kind okay somebody could even be using this secret book of shadows on you trying to conjure something up against you yeah I, unless you have this power here with this book of shadows and candles okay yeah there's some type of secret magic within you you have some type of secret magic power spirit is saying yeah you have some type of secret magic power here okay these individuals whoever these celebrities are these reptilians are okay um they have some type of cloak they're cloaking themselves concealment here they're concealing their identities who they are they're cloaking themselves okay yeah whoever you are you're 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 a good witch though okay i'm seeing witch killer here okay you're a healer you may not identify yourself as a witch okay you don't necessarily have to do a lot you know a lot of witchy things here okay you definitely you know not of the dark and doing the evil wicked things that these people are doing okay you definitely got other witches that are working against you but you are a healer spirit is saying okay you're having some type of radical rebirth okay these people have they put some type of hex on you to try to banish you in some type of way spirit is saying okay yeah you have some type of responsibility i'm seeing high priestess here high priestess high priest energy responsibility so it's like you're doing what you're supposed to do okay and these people are attacking you for it yeah they're attacking you for it yeah they're doing some type of death magic on you some type of death rituals death magic these people want you want to sacrifice you guys okay so that's what's going on here y'all like i said i hope this gave you the truth and the clarity that you were seeking pertaining to a situation you may be dealing with or pertaining to a situation you may notice someone else is dealing with if you are cross watching for those of you who would like to contact me you can do so at tiff.diamond.36 at gmail.com you can also follow me on instagram which is shine bright like a diamond 36 with the underscore between each word um Mm, somebody definitely doing magic here but you're a powerful magician yourself you are a powerful magician yourself spirit you're saying but they are definitely doing magic on you you got people who are jealous and envious and intimidated by you okay you got liars cheaters and thieves here mm -mm. Um, for those of you who would like to donate to the channel, you can do so through Cash App, which is dollar sign to Diamond36, or through PayPal, which is paypal.me slash add36diamond, um, or through, um, what is it, Zelle, which is tiff.diamond.36 at gmail.com, guys, okay? Mm -mm. There's definitely an air sign. air sign earth sign emperor i'm seeing emperor and an earth sign woman is definitely working in secret behind the scenes against you okay it's definitely an air sign that ultimately betrayed you you got some type of new beginnings happening or coming in though okay there's a lot of people it's not any one person okay mm -mm. yeah so guys, for those of you all who are uh, real and true subscribers of the channel, supporters of the channel, you know that you are my diamonds. Why? Because a diamond is a girl's best friend. So if you decide to leave a comment in the comment section below, be sure to drop your girls some um, diamond emojis so that I know that you are a real and true um, subscriber of the channel, guys. Okay? 
So, as always, guys, y'all take care of yourself, take care of each other, but most of all, take care of your baby, sonny. Remember, this is a wicked, wicked world that we live in. There's wickedness in high places, and there's evil that's lurking around each and every corner, even in a neighborhood near you. So, y'all watch your surroundings. Watch the company you keep, watch surroundings and the company in which your children are in as well. And considering the fact that you never know when someone may betray you, backstab you, try to hurt you or harm you, honey, keep you some protection on you. Y'all stay awake, stay aware, stay vigilant, and stay prepared, because if you stay ready you ain't gotta get ready baby until the next time peace love and light namaste i am that i am created in the image of god closing messages guys okay um spirit is saying they may be trying to silence you but it's your lucky day there's new resources of money time or support that is coming in for you a change in job or promotion is also um available to you spirit is saying here okay um we know that the witches are witching here okay your ops are trying to kill you here so they're in this magician energy they're abusing divination by way of manipulation in an effort to manifest what they want but you're also a powerful magician or manifester as well okay um you in this magician energy spirit is saying that you can manifest the life that you want okay what you need will magically appear you're going to have some type of successful beginnings meanwhile these people are still um, you know, steadfast with doing the spell work against you guys, okay? Um, of course, these emotional manipulators, they're jealous, they're envious, they're intimidated by you, okay? They're in competition with you. They want some type of retaliation, punishment, payback, or revenge on you, Spirit is saying here, okay? Um, there is definitely a fire sign that is totally going hard against you here, okay? Um, but Spirit is saying this is a challenge that you can with, with Re resolve okay withdraw from the drama of others have patience with yourself and those around you here okay um yeah these these everybody ain't your friends okay they're liars cheaters thieves they're manipulators they're con artists they're two-faced back stabbers they're wearing a mask they're cloaking themselves they're cowards they're doing things under false pretenses they're sinking and creeping around trying to get away with something here but spirit is saying there's a better course of action available to you okay um you definitely want to review all the details of a situation here okay especially if this is somebody new coming into your life trying to befriend you this person is a liar cheater and a thief you cannot trust them them. They are trying to set you up. It is a part of some type of setup, okay? So do not trust them, okay? Spirit is saying here, okay? As it relates to, um, you know, the, 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 you know, your worst enemies being people who are closest to you because you have people who are close and you have people who are far, um, who's a part of this thing that's working against you here, okay? There's some type of decision that has been made here, okay? With Archangel Jophiel here, okay? Um, Whatever decisions, these decisions that they made to attack you, to hurt you, to harm you, to um, act aggressively, take action aggressively against you here. Spirit is saying, release yourself from that which holds you back, okay? Um, yeah. Spirit is saying not to have unnecessary worry, okay? Um, there's no need for you to have unnecessary worry um, based on a lack of confidence here, okay? Um, but yeah, something is significant to decisions of some kind here, okay? As it relates to your energy, you're sitting here as the queen of Ariel. You're mature, you're practical, you're generous, you're happy, you're caring, you're loving, you're compassionate, um type of individual you're courteous you're confident okay spirit wants you to nurture yourself in those that you love you have the ability to make anything more beautiful okay you're someone who is practical and you are wise and as well do you give practical and wise advice here okay you are an empress here so you definitely could be a mother with this archangel gabriel energy here okay spirit is saying it's time for you to act upon your plans your creativity is going to be rewarded um you could even be having a luxurious or abundant resources coming in for you okay uh, we also have the six of ariel here okay your material needs are going to get filled fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways there could be acts of kindness giving or receiving with a grateful heart okay guys bottom of the deck we have the eight of gabrielle so there's definitely a lot of swift fast communication messages news or information that is coming in for you all um spirit is saying there's a great deal of activity that is going on okay there could be sudden or immediate results Results as it relates to something there's important communication that is coming in for you all